Johnny, sometimes when I listen to you, I think you've already made a visit to heaven because sometimes I feel like you're already living on that side of the tracks. Hope is something that God has given to us that is fantastic, mm. okay? Let's close this series of programs. Talk about the hope you have for the future. I am such a citizen of heaven. I live, eat, breathe hope. I have such a wonderful eternal hope, Jesus, my blessed hope. The God of all hope overflows in my heart when I trust and obey Him. R real quickly, um, I remember there was a time when uh, a woman had called our office desperate. Her husband, a pastor, uh, the year before had broken his neck in a motorcycle accident. He had lost his pastorate, was severely depressed, had shut himself in his bedroom, in bed, turn off the lights, turn on the air conditioner, draw the shades, keep it dark. I don't want anybody in here. And she asked if I would speak with him on the phone. And she tucked the receiver under his phone. And I tried everything to get through this man. He was a pastor. He knew all this stuff that Michael was talking about. And, and yet, singing to him, praying with him, speaking about all those portions of scripture, nothing got through. And then I said, Ron, you ever seen a movie called The Shawshank Redemption? And I heard this giggle on the other end. And I said, well, remember? That line in the movie where Andy Dufresne is sitting with his prison buddy Red in the yard and he's saying, hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. And I said to Ron, there are 15,000, maybe 20,000 other quadriplegics like you and me, and they're deciding whether or not they can get out of bed this morning. Ron, you either got to get busy living or get busy dying. Would you join me in getting busy living today? And I will tell you this, to make the story short, months later he came to one of our family retreats at our ministry. This man eventually had reassumed the pastorate. He passed away a month ago. But when I talk about him, I think how precious a gift is hope. And I, I, I want our friends who are watching this today to embrace the God of all hope, mercy, comfort, grace and to know that um, He holds the answers in His hand. Just take His hand, and, and, and that's enough. That can be enough. You might not know all the answers, but just having Him embrace you holding His hand, that's enough.